guys, so I'm going to attempt to film. I don't really know <laughs> how it's going to go. Um, we're going to see. I know I sound like a broken record, but my kids are still sick. Well, Killian is at least. And so um, he has a fever. I think, I think, I'm going to hope and pray this is the case, that he is teething. And that's what it is because it's his back teeth and his tummy is messed up and he has a fever but I don't know there's a lot of stuff going around so I'm just treating it as I would treat any other sickness of what's going on and what's going around and that's what we're gonna treat it as until we know otherwise and we'll just deal with it but I am going to be doing my happy planner spread and I still have to punch holes in that guy but I am going to be doing my happy planner spread for the week of December the 18th through the 24th so it's Christmas Eve and that's really exciting and scary at the same time because I still have not finished my Christmas shopping you guys it is it is scary so anyway I am going to be planning this out and I have a coffee here because it's been a really rough week <laughs> In a lot of different ways so anyway I'm going to be using this um, printable from sticker addicts prints I have used her many times before love her stuff but she hasn't been posting any free printables in a long time and so eventually I'm gonna run out of her things and I'm going to cry because I love them so much and it's just so much that you get for free I mean it's really sweet and nice and she's just so creative so I really really love her so I'm going to start with some washi, and I'm probably going to have to go and grab some other washi to use with it as well, but I'm going to start with this and then go from there. Um, and y'all, of course, in true Ashley fashion, I left my blade in the other room, and I need to... I cut this one a little, a lot better than I did the one I was struggling with the other day, but I still... I'm probably going to have to have the blade a little bit for a little bit of help on a couple of areas. So I still am probably going to have to go and get it. But that's okay because I really need to go get other washi anyway. And so it's really not that big of a deal. But still, I did try and cut this one better. I honestly think I need, I really just need a new blade is one of the problems. But I haven't been out of the house in a million years, so... That hasn't really happened, but it's okay. Every baby gets sick. And you guys, the thing is, the reason why I sound so much like, I feel so much like I'm sounding like a broken record is because my babies are never sick. Like, they're never sick. They just don't get sick this way. And so them being sick for so long has just been awful for us because they just don't get this way. So it's just been, and I shouldn't have done that, it's just been a, a struggle and a big deal for, for them to have been sick for so long. Um, I feel like it's just one thing right after the other. It's awful. I mean, first it was the hand, foot, and mouth thing, and then um, I ended up catching a stomach virus, which thankfully they did not get. So I had that for, you know, a day or so. And then after that, um, they got a horrible, horrible cold and we had to take them to the ER and all of that. That was terrible. And then um, after that, now Killian has this and I'm pretty positive that it is his teeth because he's just hurting with his mouth really, really badly. And so I think that that's what it is, but it's just been a roller coaster whirlwind of sickness and terrible things and so I feel so bad for my babies when they're sick because especially him he doesn't know like it's not like you can explain it to him what's going on he just feels really awful and doesn't want to and he wants to get down and play and he just bless his heart he can't play for more than a few minutes without just being way too much and so it's really just awful but it's okay because I'm praying for my babies and I'm believing that they're going to feel better. 
so it's going to be okay. But I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go get my blade and my scissors and I'm going to go get some more washi to go up at the top and I'll be right back. Okay, another thing I feel like I need to mention because I didn't even think about this. Um, I'm doing this spread um, in December because December is my grandmother's birthday month and my grandmother is a very special lady to me. I've always been very, very close to her and we don't live by her anymore. Um, and also it's very appropriate to do this spread for her because during Christmas, that is what I remember. Christmas is always a big deal in my family. And Christmas was always a big deal because of um, our family was, I have a really large family and my family would just all get together at my grandmother's house and she would always, um, she would always um, bake all of these different things. Um, and, um, she and my aunt, which is her daughter, um, it's my dad's mom and sister, they would just get together and they would bake all day long all of these Christmas things and she would cook all of this stuff and it was just like this big, huge family ordeal and it would be family that I hadn't seen all year long and we would get together at her house and I mean that's just how it was. So Christmas to me... Um, I miss that a lot. We live four hours away from them now, and we don't always get to see them for Christmas holidays. Um, you know, my brother and sister and I are all married, and we, you know, I have babies, and um, we just, we don't get to go um, down there um, very often anymore. And it's actually where my husband is from as well, so we're both from there. But um, his family um, lived that he is, uh, I shouldn't say close to because they're not the closest family anyway, but his family that he speaks with is here. And so um, we just don't get the chance to go down there very often. And um, my family still lives there. Um, we moved here when I was in the middle of my 11th grade year because my dad got a church here, and so that's why we moved, and so my family is still there. Um, so, you know, it's not as big um, on the holidays, and I just, I want to think of her um, this way, and it, it makes me happy to think of her um, and baking and the smells that you smell. We would always get there early to kind of help her out and get ready for everybody to come over, and I miss that. I miss her very, very much, and I still talk to her on the phone. Um, at least about twice a week, I would say, because I try to keep in touch with her often. But um, I don't get to see her as much as I'd like. So, um, so yeah, I just I want to use this as an opportunity to kind of honor her and think about her and what she made the holidays like for me because it's one of my favorite memories of the holidays. And so it wouldn't have been that way without her. So. That is why I'm very oddly doing a baking um, spread um, in the middle of December. <laughs> so it's not the traditional Christmas that I would normally probably do, but it's just because I want to make her birthday month special. And I'm probably going to cover up this washi, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure any holes were filled um, before I put this down, because you will see a couple of gaps. I just wanted to make it, make sure it was covered up. I'm still going to use that washi on the sides, and it sounds like Killian has woken up, and I really want him to go to sleep. He's only been down for about 15 minutes, and he has barely gotten to sleep, so I really... Okay, it sounds like he's quiet for now. I would just hope and pray that he gets some rest not been feeling good and it has been not fun for mommy either <laughs> so he just needs rest really bad I gave him some medicine and put him down for his nap and rocked him a little bit and yeah okay so this is the 17th no this is the 18th 
through the 24th. Okay. But my grandmother is a sweet, sweet lady and she watched me when I was younger and she helped my mom and dad with me a lot because they were very, very young parents. My mom was 16 and my dad was 19 when they had me and so she, um, she helped them with me a lot and she took me clothing shopping and helped take care of me and she's just very, very special to me. Um, very special. So it's sad to me that we don't live close to her because I really wish I could see her more often, but that happens sometimes when you move away from family. Sometimes you don't get to see people as, as much as you would like. And I really, really need to take the boys down there. We were actually supposed to go down there today, um, but with Killian being sick, we didn't get to, so um, <clears throat> I'll have to take the boys when they are finally well, which hopefully will be very soon, and we'll have to go down there and see them. She enjoys seeing my babies, so I appreciate that, and I definitely want them to be able to see her as much as possible. You just never know. She's a very young grandmother for me to be 30, but you never know. It could happen to any of us. You never know how much time any of us have. So it's important to cherish those times with your family and just be there for each other. So I definitely want to take them very, very soon to see her. I think I'm going to be very weird and do my sidebar first, which I never do, but I think I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to... Okay. I keep getting interrupted, but this is what you do when you get interrupted and you just keep moving forward and that's just how it goes. Oh, this is, I'm serious, this is my week. Like, this has been the past couple of weeks for me. It's been very stressful, very hard, <laughs> very difficult. Nothing's gone easy. Like, just now, my camera cut off because my phone was full, and I had nothing on my phone. Like, it's all these files that your phone just gets gunked up with, and it stores them, and I had to go clean it off before I could keep going. Right after I clean it off and sit down, sit down again to film. I press the button and Killian's awake again and he's only been asleep for like 20-30 minutes. Like he hasn't even been asleep that long. He was awake. He was just in bed. So he's not sleeping at all. It's just not easy. But I'm, if you hear him, I'm trying my best to just let him cry it out for a second and see if he'll go back to sleep because he needs sleep so bad he's so tired but it's just not it's not working out so i really don't know at this point so i've taken him to the doctor and they just don't do much you know like everything that's going around right now is viral so they just kind of don't do anything for you and so it's really rough. But I feel so bad for him because there's really nothing I can do for him. And he's just having a hard time. So I love on him and cuddle him, but if I if I let him up and get him up, he's gonna be up the whole time. And he's not gonna go back to sleep, so he really has to go back to sleep. But anyway, um, okay, so
Sounds like he keeps quieting down and then he starts back up again. So that is not a good thing. <laughs> it's weird because she gave extras than she usually gives. She usually doesn't give that many of these checklists. See, she gave more over here. So that's good. There's more full boxes for me. So that's exciting. So I can get it to peel up. Oh, I just want him to rest and be able to rest. That's so bad for him. It's really hard as a mom to see your kid sick and not be able to do anything about it. You give them the medicine you're supposed to give them and you love on them, but that's all you can do. And sometimes it doesn't feel like it's enough. So, you just give them lots of cuddles and try to make him feel as comfortable as we can, but I just don't really know exactly what's going on with him. It's the problem. Okay, so okay. Yeah, I've gotta replace my blade. Just isn't cutting very well. This one's a lot better than the last one, though. The last one I was fighting with, for sure. And it was driving me nuts. I was getting so mad at it. <laughs> okay. It's a lot better than that one, for sure, but... Still could have done a little bit of a better job. That's okay. I don't mind it a little bit, but when it's just about impossible, that's when it starts getting irritated with it. This label paper is not the most magnificent either. It's okay, but it's really hard to um lift the stickers even if you do cut them really well it's it's really hard to lift them up and so that is not helping but I'm just getting a bunch of different stickers off at the same time so I can be done with it okay let's see a cupcake Cake is really cute. I think this is a really sweet little cute spread for my grandma's birthday. Grandmama. It's very southern. That's what we call her. Grandmama. And I think I'm going to put these macaroons um, in here as well on, I'm trying to think of what day, I think I'm going to do them on Monday, that's usually the busiest is Mondays and Fridays, Mondays and Thursdays are my days that are hard <laughs> because those are the days after Joshua's um, off days, and so those are the days where I'm like exhausted. See, I did this page great. They're just coming up so easy. And here's another one of those cupcakes. So I think I'm going to put that one over here on the sidebar. And I need to fill in these, so I'm going to stick this here for now. And talk to myself. See, I did this page pretty well too. They're coming up a lot easier too. Let's 
And Sunday is Christmas Eve, so we have lots of stuff. Christmas Eve is the day that my family, um, we do our Christmas as a family. Um, we, um, we open our presents, and that's a tradition that my grandparents did start. So we open our presents from each other, and we read the Christmas story, and we pray over the, my dad prays over the entire family. Um, and then um, his dad used to do that, and now he does it, now that we don't go there every year. And um, when we do go there and see my grandparents, then my, you know, it's like the man of the house, like the man of the house is who reads the story and prays over everyone and all of that, but um, he prays over the whole family and, you know, just says a thankful, a prayer of thanks for the whole year and, you know, specific things that have went on in our life um, throughout the year. And then um, we open presents from each other and we usually play a few games and we have a bunch of fun together and so that's really fun. So we will be doing that on Christmas Eve, but I think it's going to be a little bit different this year because Christmas Eve is on Sunday and so of course we'll have service. And I'm hoping, I'm so hoping that we have a candlelight service because I don't know what you guys do, but um, for I love candlelight services near Christmas at church because they're just so pretty. They're so pretty, and um, I just, I think they're so pretty. It's where you, um, you have church, and it's really, it's dark, and you only do it by candlelight, and it's usually not like a traditional church service. Usually, like, you do a lot of prayer, and sometimes you do communion, or, you know, whatever, and you um, sing Christmas carols, and you do it all by candlelight, and it's so pretty. So, I, I really hope that we do that. I can hear Tristan there. I know he's whining. I think he wanted something in here. If you guys are mothers, then you know when one child is sick, the other child is in a trying phase where he wants to try you out and drive you absolutely crazy. And that is, for some reason, the mood that Tristan's in. He needs everything. He wants everything. It's, you know, it's probably because the, the other child is getting a lot of the attention, you know, because they're not feeling well. So he wants some of it too, which I can totally understand, but please stop. <laughs> I can totally understand, but please don't do it. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about it. So he's being a little bit extra today and driving me crazy and I wish he wouldn't, but I don't know. I love this. Baking is love made edible. I think that's really cute. I want to use it. Yeah, he's making lots of noise in there with his Legos. No idea what he's doing, but like I said, he just he wants that extra attention from his mama because Killian's getting all the attention and he's driving me nuts. Driving me crazy. Okay, this December actually goes okay, so I need, I'm looking for something to go in here. I am actually going to, I don't know why I put this right here going to use this extra guy and I'm going to put him right here because this is the day before we are doing everything with my family so I'm sure I'll have a lot of last minute things to write down and so I'm going to use it for this one too because I'm sure I'll have to write down some memories and things like that. I'm going to do that, and then, um, pretty sure this is our weekend with Jaren, so I'm not really sure how holiday stuff is going to work out. It's difficult when the situation that we're in, 
we, we are cordial with his mother because that is the best for the child. You know what I mean? If that is a possibility, it's always better to do that. So we are as cordial as we possibly can be, but we really don't get along. So it's difficult because um, she doesn't... She doesn't correspond with me, but I'm the one who takes care of the things in her home. So I'm the one who knows what the heck is going on <laughs> with anything. Like, my husband never knows what's happening. He, he'll tell you. He's like, I don't know. He just doesn't know. I'm the planner. I mean, that's just the way it is, you know? And so she, she communicates with him, but he's just not... He, he doesn't remember because he is busy with work and he has a lot of stress of his own and he you know he's he's got a lot on his plate as it is and so he just leaves that kind of stuff in her household to me and so when she tells him he never remembers you know always makes it very very difficult <laughs> but that's okay we figure it out i guess not well sometimes but we do end up figuring it out so I guess it works out in the end but I'm not really would I would say that because I'm not really sure exactly what's happening with the whole um, situation with my stepson I don't really know whose turn is whose and who's going to whose house when I don't really know what's going on so I'll have to figure that out and then write it down so not really positive how that will go, but usually we um, do get him at some point on Christmas Eve because that is when my family does their thing, and so we definitely want him to be a part of that, and so we get him for that at least, and then we try to get him as much as we can. The other parts, we do our Christmas with him um, before Christmas because... It's very confusing, okay? And if you guys have a way that you did this, then let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of curious how other people do it. But it's very difficult because he does believe in Santa Claus, which I'm saying very low so my other child doesn't hear me. But he does believe, and so we want to keep it that way. So we... Um, you know, Santa comes to his house, so it, it's difficult because we don't want to tell him Santa comes to his house twice because then he would be, ha ha, Santa comes to see me twice and he only comes to see you once, so we don't want that for sure. But then again, we don't want um, him thinking that we give him presents but his mother doesn't. At his mama's house, Santa gives him presents, and at our house, we give him presents because that's not really fair to her, and so we really don't want to do that. But there, it's just really complicated, you know? Like, what do you say? So we've kind of just played it by ear, and I don't know. We kind of just do it the best way we know how and, you know, go from there. But this year, all of the Christmas presents from us are going home with him because... Usually we, um, he keeps them at our house and I just don't feel like that's fair because then he never gets to play with all of those presents and, except every other weekend and that's just not fair. What's wrong? What did you want and what did you need in here, baby? Okay. Oh, poor Tristan. I don't know that he's feeling very well either, I guess. He's just not having a very easy time. He's upset because he started to come in here and make a bunch of racket and I told him no. And he he was upset because he said he just needed the remote. He had been doing his um, homeschooling lessons at his desk and he finished with them. So when I had to pause it earlier, I checked over him and told him that he could take a break. And so I guess he needed the remote for his break and he was upset because he didn't know where it was and he wanted me to go find it. 
<sighs> goodness. Okay, that's cute. And then I'm going to put this sparkle washi at the top. And then we'll start writing and be done. I've never really been a silver girl, but I think it's super pretty. And every girl needs a little bit of glitter sometimes. I feel like I need a lot of it this week. It's been a very stressful couple of weeks for sure. For sure. A lot of things going on. But you know what? Life goes on. Sometimes it's hard, but it still goes on and it'll be fine. Okay, so I think this is really pretty. I like it. I'll have to tell her I dedicated a planner spread to her. She'll probably laugh and think it's funny. Um, okay, let's see what we've got now. I think I might use... I think I might see how this pin goes. So... Um, Christmas Eve, it's not going very well. Let's see. I might not really like to write on this surface, we'll see. Y'all probably can't even see that. I think you can see this one. Okay, so this one is Christmas Eve, and I'm going to put on here Christmas Eve service. And I think I'm going to grab some other kind of stickers to decorate and put on here and make it super cute for this week since it's Christmas Eve. Okay, so I'm going to try to finish this really quickly. Um... I'm gonna put this reminder sticker here, just for any last minute things. And then I'm going to put this one here. Today, to do. No. <laughs> Poor Killian, he keeps waking up. It's so awful. He keeps drifting back to sleep and then we'll wake up again. So probably just gonna have to just go get him up and just kind of deal with it. But I wish that he would sleep. But I just don't think he can very well. So He is, he has been, I'm not going to say he is because I really hope he continues, but he has been sleeping through the night, so he is sleeping at night, but he wakes up with a fever the last two days in a row, and so it's just not been fun. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm going to put um, family night on this right here. And then I'm going to put coffee here. Yes, please. And then I'm going to put a so busy sticker here because I will be. <laughs> this is my biggest chore day. It's on Monday, and I hate to cover up all these little images because they're so cute. I have to write on them. I also need to do laundry. And then this is Christmas Eve. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. And then
then this is I'm going to put cook for my mom's so we can bring whatever we need to bring and then um, I really need to do my shopping my last minute shopping here because I think we have Jaren this weekend so I'm going to put our weekend with a question mark because I don't know for sure probably should find that out and then I'm going to put last minute shopping to finish up anything else that I need to grab. Hopefully I'll be done by then, I hope. And that's all I'm going to put for now. So he doesn't get an off day on this day, I know. No off day. Pretty sure he's going to keep working. And then I think that's going to be it. So I'm just going to punch this and put it back in my cleaner. He quieted down. He went back to sleep. He's just not resting well. I don't think he's really awake. I think he's half asleep and he's just not resting well. So I probably need to go check and make sure his fever hasn't gone back up even though I gave him the medicine. Because I gave him medicine right before he went to sleep so he wouldn't have a fever. Sleeping seems to make it worse, but... I know I keep bringing it up talking about this because he's in the next room and I'm thinking about it, but here we go. It's really cute. I really like it. It makes me think of Christmas baking and fun with your family. So I hope you guys have a great, great week. I hope that you have a great holiday with your family. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was a little crazy because they kept getting interrupted and I think it was just a little bit um, <laughs> uh, crazy, but it is a video with me so you know that that is going to be the case. So I'm sticking stickers down as we speak, but I just saw those. So I hope that you guys have a great week and a great holiday. I do appreciate you watching this. I appreciate you watching these videos with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy planning. Bye guys.